Hello everyone! In today's episode, we continue our walk through the streets of Catania in Sicily, and we're going to visit the ancient Greco Roman theater, the University of Catania, the Department of Humanities, and the Church of San Nicolo Larena. If you want to see which places we have visited in the previous episode, I've left a link for you in the description of this video and in the card above. Now we're going to visit the Greco-Roman Theater in Catania, which is located in the historical center of Catania. At the entrance, after paying the visitation fee, we pass through some rooms where parts of the capitals, statues and frescoes that once adorned the stage of the theater are exhibited. Then we enter an inner courtyard where we find the stage and the backstage of the amphitheater. Its current appearance dates to the 2nd century, but it was somewhat restored in the 19th century. It is assumed that this was originally a Greek theater, which was rebuilt and used in the Roman period. This structure, attributed to the Greek theater from the 5th to the 4th century BC, may actually be the theater where Alcibiades addressed the Catanians to persuade them to ally themselves with the Athenians against Syracuse. The theater from the Greek era was thus restored in the 1st century probably as a result of the transformation of Catania into a Roman colony by Augustus. During the 2nd century, perhaps following the funding obtained from Hadrian, we witness a process of development of the area that also involves the nearby thermal baths, which we talked about in the previous episode, and numerous buildings of the city. The theater building fell into decline and was abandoned during the 6th and the 7th century. Like many other monumental buildings of the classical era, it was divided and used as modest housing since the early Middle Ages. The orchestra area was used as a cattle slaughterhouse. And over time the structures were eroded and excavated and building materials that could be salvaged were used in the creation of new buildings. In the western part of the Roman theater there is a small theater called Odeon. The small Odeon theater from the 2nd century AD was used for musical and dance performances, as well as rehearsals for the performances in the nearby Grand Theater. And as far as we understand, the Odeon theater is still in use as an open-air theater. We're leaving the Greco-Roman theater and we're going to visit the building of the University of Catania, which used to be a monastery. The monastery of Saint Nicolo Larena, or Larena, where Rena means red sand, a term indicating the volcanic sand present in the area. It is an ecclesiastic complex in the historical center of Catania, located in Piazza Dante, consisting of an important Benedictine monastic building and a monumental 18th century church. It 
was founded by the monks of the monastery of the same name located near Nicolosis, who in the middle of the 16th century asked the city's senate for permission to build inside the walls, being threatened by the eruptions of Mount Etna and the presence of brigands. Today it is the headquarters of the Humanities Department of the University of Catania. In the second half of the 12th century, a chapel and a shelter for the sick monks of the nearby monastery of Santa Maria di Licodia and San Leone del Colle Panacchio were erected on the slopes of Etna, near Paterno. Later, by the order of Frederick III of Sicily, the monastery was built here, which was established as the main residence of the monks. On January the 11th, 1693, the earthquake that hit the city also caused the collapse of the Benedictine monastery and the death of most of the monks, leaving only three alive. The structure of the church, still under construction, was spared but work was stopped for about 20 years. Considering the area occupied, approximately 210 by 130 meters, it is the second largest Benedictine monastery in Europe, second only to the Mafra monastery in Portugal. And now let's go to Chiesa di San Nicolo Arena, which is next door to the university. The Church of San Nicolo Larena in Catania is a Catholic place of worship, located in Piazza Dante. The naves of the church, measuring 105 meters in length and 48 meters in width, and the transept measuring about 71 meters, with a maximum height of 66 meters at the dome, this is the largest and tallest building of the Catholic faith in Sicily and its construction dates from the eruption of Etna in 1669. The grandiose main altar consists of a large organ, apsis, a choir bridge and wooden canopy covered with semi-precious stones, numerous metal inserts patterned with gold and silver, created by the goldsmith Vincenzo Belli with the coat of arms of the Cassinese congregation and the badge of the monastery, creates a spectacular background. The symbols of the evangelist stand out amongst the angels, pillars, frames of acanthus leaves, moldings, and arabesques. In the transept is a large sundial that two famous astronomers, the German Wolfgang Sarturius von Walterhausen and the Danish Christian Peters created on the floor starting in 1839. It was during the time of Abbot Giovan Francesco Corvaia that the sundial was actually built. Great praise was received for this work upon its completion in 1841, both for the dimensions and the value of the materials and finishes, but especially for the precision and the boldness of the calculations. In fact, it was said to split the second in two. Inside the church we find the crypt, the creation of which was supported by the association of the families of those fallen in war. The shrine was designed by the engineer Alessandro Vusetic and houses a statuary group by Luciano Condorelli. The last thing on the list for today is to climb on the roof of the church, which is the highest viewpoint in Catania. We'll go up on a very narrow spiral staircase, which is very long and dark, so if you have a poor balance, we recommend you think twice before going up.
but the climb is definitely worth it. Although I've left a skin sample from my hand on the rough wall because I wasn't paying enough attention and I lost my balance for a second. When you reach the top, the view is amazing. You can see the whole city. The port of Catania. And Mount Etna, the famous volcano near Catania. We'll give you a few moments to enjoy the view from the tallest church in Catania. If you've liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel by pressing the subscribe button. Leave it a like and share the video with others so we know you've enjoyed it. And we'll meet you again in two weeks when we will continue our walk through Catania and see many other interesting things.